So let me, so we'll go ahead and save this because that is sending it correctly. And we'll just make sure that when it generates that call, uh, that we are actually sending, you know, the current session's end date and time here. Um, and we didn't set like a start date on it, but we probably could if we wanted to. Let me see what their, let's see what their configuration lets us do here. Um, we can set a not before date, and this is basically another Unix timestamp that says like, hey, they can't join this meeting until, you know, um, until this particular date or time. Um, the max participants here, we can also set this, right? Um, and so this is where we can we can really get into some, uh, f you know, featuring and things like that, where like if you want to have more than two participants, you need to get on a paid plan or something, right? Um, and so like if I wanted to add that, I would just put a comma here and then put in max participants and put a or, yeah put a colon I think it's a colon is what they require max participants integer yeah so for here I only want two people at a time um, I don't need to put this in quotes because it told me that an integer is what's required um, if it had said a boolean or a string like a string like this this always needs to go into quotes Booleans are just true or false, and they do not need to go into quotes. So, um, just like a real quick little thing there. Um, so we set our expiration date, our max participants. We set our, um, again, we've got all these options for like, um, we've got a eject at room expiration. So it says, if there's a meeting going on at room expiration time, end the meeting by kicking everyone out. This behavior can be overridden by setting eject properties of a meeting token. So um, what I might do is I will turn this on. So eject at room. I'm just going to copy this, and we'll put this in here. Because what I don't want to happen, I don't want to sound stingy or anything, but... I don't want people just like sitting in a room, like soaking up the minutes, right, for everybody else. Um, so, and then this, this right here, this tells us eject at room expiration is either true or false. So here, I'm just going to put true, again, in no quotes there. Um, so yeah, I think that is probably going to work well. We'll save that. So that seemed to work. And then also what we'll do is on this add, or let's see, where is it created at here? Create suggested time. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so we need to do, we actually need to do the same thing down there on those. But these up here, or where they go? Right here. These right here, this is where we need to add in our update suggested time. And I'm actually going to increase this a little bit. Like, I'm not sure. 0 0.041, that is one hour. But if I want to give them like a little bit of extra time, like a 10 minute buffer or something, maybe what I'll do is say 0 0.042. Right, and then that will give them um, you know a full let's see. Suggest is that right? New suggested time start date plus O four two. Um yeah, I think that'll work good. So let's scroll down here and do this to the same thing for the people who have to suggest, like re-suggest times. Um, well, we don't want it to link back, that's for sure. 
Uh, so we want to update the new suggested time with the current seshes start date and time, and then we're going to add 0.042 to that. Cool. And then of course when they hit done, it just links to seshes. Yeah, perfect. Cool. So we've got the daily API basically creating um, you know, creating end dates and kicking people out. Or it so we are creating the end dates in Unix timestamps. And then we are setting that as the expiration date for the room. And then what we are doing is uh, after the room expires, it automatically kicks everybody out. It only lets two people join at a time, which is what we want. And um, we, let's see, what, what was the other thing? Um, yeah, the end date, the expiration date, that's right. So, um, hey James, thanks for stopping in, thank you. Hope everything's good with you and your uh, copy component that you're developing. James is working on a copy to clipboard component, which will be pretty sweet once he's done. Um, yeah, so I mean, we got some pretty cool stuff going now. We've got, you know, the automatic... Um, you know, we've got the automatic... Uh, I don't know what you call them. Avatars. That's what it's called. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, on sign up, which is really cool. And yeah, so Gimli, son of Gloin, we need to update his profile info. So this might actually, this is interesting because. Well, no, I don't guess that would ever happen because we just deleted that, but. Cool. There we go. Okay, so Gimli, son of Gloin. Uh, we still need to build a log out section here of some kind. <laughs> um, and I'm not exactly sure what's happening with that one, but let's log in as P Ford Media here. And let me change my stuff here. Ah, so it is there. We just got to upload the right one, I guess. Okay, so that's correct now. Good. Um, yeah, so we've got our login, or we need to we need to actually create like a menu of some kind, don't we, for people to be able to log out, um, and then like settings and stuff, right? Um, we need settings and all that. We have a search, which is good. We have sessions, which is good. And then also probably this messages, this fourth tab here does not need to be messages. I'm not even sure what this can be, to be honest with you. Um, Cause we've already got a home screen, right? That has um, spitballs on it and who to follow and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I mean, we need to find something else to put on this tab here, this 
this fourth tab. And maybe this is where we put the, the settings. Um, maybe this is where we need to put that. Um, any thoughts? Anybody have any thoughts about what we can put here? Because I have no idea. Hmm. Well, we may just cut it short because I think that's a good stopping point. Um, we are really close to being done. We just need our notification screen kind of built out, um, our settings screen built out for our users. Um, we need a way for them to um, give reviews, right? Um, and maybe that's something that we need to build in here after the session is to ask them for, for a review of this person. Um, payment details, we may put this on hold until we can figure out if we should even charge people or let people charge others. I don't know. We may just release it out into the wild as it is and see what happens. Um, but we definitely need notifications, reviews, and a settings page of some kind, and then probably um, a way to like report users, even if it's just a very simple way to do it. So those kind of five things. And then we'll also have to build out this email verification system. So um, yeah, maybe we can do that some other time, hopefully. But again, stay tuned. I've got some news. Um, we might be moving this stream over to somewhere else. So um, and I'm not talking about platforms, I'm talking about channels, just in general. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys uh, stick around. I hope you guys enjoy watching the uh, build, you know, building this out from week to week. And thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like and subscribe to it, or to my channel and to Adalo's channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the forum. I'm sometimes in there. Um, and uh, we'll try to get your question answered up. So, all right. Peace out, everybody.